Yeah, there we go. Let's watch these two. I need to watch, I need to watch it. Anyway, I still haven't watched it yet, because I just got a buddy to work, so I had a proper PC. Where the hell are we? Let me get the Looks fuck out of here. What the hell is that? We're trapped. What do we do? Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. This is beyond messed up. That's you, Run! Jamie, over here. Check this out. It's a puzzle, a riddle of some sort. Tricks and traps, it's playing games. That's not what I was expecting. What was that? Um, I can do that in one stream. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. You okay? Not even close. He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. If we don't do something, both of them will die. We have to choose. No! Get the fuck out any way you can. I don't want to die. Um, November 18th, I know. Let's watch the gameplay now, shall we? Hello? Guys? Is that you? There is a game I could play tonight. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Dan here today. We're going to be discussing The Devil in Me, the fourth part of the Dark Pictures anthology. They're all standalone cinematic horror games. You've probably heard of Man of Madan, Little Hope, House of Ashes. Well, the new one is The Devil in Me from Supermassive Games, who you know from The Quarry recently, Until Dawn, and of course, those games. Today, as we look through some gameplay, thanks to Supermassive for sending that over, we're going to be talking about some of the cool new features that I'm really excited about. So first off, the story is based around a man and a hotel. So let's go into it. So it's Herman Mudgett. He was born in 1861. He studied medicine in Michigan, specializing in anatomy, and he changed his name later to Dr. Henry Howard Holmes, Triple H. <laughs> Wrestling fans know that one. Henry Howard Holmes. He moved to Chicago and he built a three-story building, a uh, hotel, right? He built a three-story hotel, elegant, refined. But in that hotel, trap doors, cellars, deadly contraptions, secret passages, you name it, all within this hotel. This is real, guys, right? He confessed to 27 murders. Oh, wow. And he told the judge, it wasn't me, it was the devil in me right it's oh, just mm. sort of creepy right? oh, yeah. wow. it was your first american serial killer right so let's go into this game so this game centers around five people are part of a camera crew director grip cameraman small nick crew right small production company they're making a series about american serial killers okay they're making one of their last episodes and it's on hh H. Holmes. They've run out of money, they've run out of ideas, and they need this to be a hit to Greenlight, obviously, season two, because this is the season one finale. Now, a wealthy architect comes onto the scene with a hotel they inherited, who's obsessed with serial killers. The, this murder castle from H.H. H. Holmes has been recreated, right? Very accurate recreation of that hotel and Supermassive have gone into great detail to get this hotel right because we're going to be spending a lot of time there in the game. Jessie Buckley, you may know her, Academy Award nominee. She plays Kate Wilder, complex character, introverted, 
She's the show presenter, along with a bunch of other characters, all diverse in uh, and very complex. Exactly. And we're, I like that there's just five that we know of anyway, but just a small Nick crew. That way we're going to really learn about these characters and hopefully I can get them on for some interviews as well. That'd be great, just like I did with The Quarry. So they're doing the season one finale. Now, their big inspirations, super massive for this, are The Shining, Saw series, Psycho. So I wonder what are you going to do I'm with really seeing two? those elements come to play okay. in this gameplay and, of course, the trailers. Video Okay What the fuck It's a fucking booby trap This guy is getting run through by that thing Let's talk about the gameplay improvements now That I'm really excited about New exploration action So moving around, jumping, climbing much more interaction, squeezing through what small places, fuck? balancing, push and pull. Oh god. This is all oh, new god. to this spell. Yeah. The quarry, man of Madan, until dawn. They didn't have any of this. They're actually pushing the games further now, which is a great step. This is what they needed because those games are great story wise, but the gameplay has always been very simple, choose your own adventure style, and now we're really adding in these elements. It doesn't sound like much push and pull balance, you know, this is basic game mechanics, but it's really going to add to this experience. Even your character can run now, something like that really just, I love that <laughs> you can finally run in these games because they just walk so slow as well <laughs> half the time. <laughs> It sounds so trivial, but it's a really big addition. And also the inventory system that they've introduced. So each character will have a number of unique tools, some unique tools and then other others that everyone can have, right? So, for example, a camera to gather evidence or a pencil or a business card okay. or a multimeter to rewire electrical circuits. Wait, so there's wait, a bunch of different things. Like, that's my or a multimeter you know, to rewire that. electrical circuits. So there's a bunch of different stuff that can also change the narrative depending on who has this item and whatnot. You can save people. You know what it's like. There's going to be some gruesome bloody deaths in this. We already know it. And I'm going to try and show you every single one of them in a bit. Uh, so they're adding puzzles into the game. Another great thing. Using these elements, these gameplay mechanics to include puzzles, codes, fuse boxes, mazes. It's really, really a great addition, and they even said it's now going to be around seven hours to complete. Most of the other games are around five hours, give or take. So this is pretty chunky as well. I'm really looking forward to it. They're, they're really nailing everything. They needed this sort of upgrade in the gameplay. They've got great actors involved, and I'm getting Saw vibes. I'm getting, if, if we wanted a really good Saw video game, this is the best we're going to get, because those Saw games back in the day, I don't know if you played them, they would pretty shit uh -huh. super massive have been on a roll the quarry was great again that gameplay very simple so they're really adding on to that and we got jesse buckley obviously the curator he's a guy that <coughs> walks you through the game as per usual he's had he's been in five this would be his fifth game so i'd love to get that actor on as well he's been in a bunch of stuff i think he was in call of duty ads or something as well but yeah the collector's edition there's available uh, that's available as well you can pre-order now it's coming out the 18th of november ps5 ps4 xbox series x and s xbox one and pc now, of course the big thing is god of war ragnarok comes out november 9th so this comes out nine days after that most you know gives us enough time to beat that game but of course i'll i'll probably be covering god of war quite 
massively because I'm really no, excited for that franchise and then I'll yes, probably be covering God of War and this October, simultaneously. But, uh, so you can look for October, gameplay November, on okay. both of those games anyway. But let me know what you think of the gameplay you saw here today and, and some of the changes I've talked about, a bit about the story and this and that. Just let me know what you think. And guys, it's been my absolute pleasure. For all things The Devil in Me, make sure to subscribe and I will see you later. Right, now we can actually watch gameplay. That's not creepy. Oh, good no. Oh, fuck you now. That's not creepy. Beautiful. Fucking hell, that scared me then. Thought that was an enemy. Over here. Stay close. Obviously. What the fuck? Oh. Last night. What the fuck just happened? That's creepy, but not fucking creepy. <laughs> I'm recording a series right now. That well, not recording. I will be doing a a new series soon. Of, well, of a, a new ga a game I haven't played before. It'll be a blind playthrough. But as I have been doing the last couple of days, it'll be live on YouTube on you. Yeah. As always, I prefer doing live streams over <laughs> videos anymore. But the only sort of video I'll be doing is, is reaction videos. And yeah, the gameplay and everything will be live. So you guys can just join me. I won't be on my own. I prefer when I'm with somebody. And I can see the chat as well now. Because I found a way how to do it, so I found a way how to do it now. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. She's far, man of a dog. Needs a light now. Ah, fuck you know. Huh? You guys see that? Then? Huh? I thought I saw something down there. Then. Oh, I can see that ship there. Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, well, that's not creepy at yeah. all. Can Join thousands oh of my system. god, fuck up. Adverts. Who am I hiding? No. I moved them when I come on. What is this? Some sort of message? He's trying to scare us. Tell us something. Oh god. Oh god. One of them are gonna get fucking stuck. <clears throat> Ryan Hart. Who's the one who fucking died? <laughs> <clears throat> Got some keys now. Ah, uh, was it a saying? And after the door, I'm assuming. Yeah. <coughs> that fucking mannequins are creepy. Because they're everywhere, like, look at that. That's creepy. <laughs> they are going to scare me when I play the game, though. Probably have to split the stream into two parts. So I'll be playing a bunch of horror games near Halloween. It's from the first. Mark, here. Out of October Let's to the end the of October. So I'll be playing non stop Halloween games. Okay. <laughs> Mark? I'm gonna try and play Phasmophobia. We're okay. I'm trying to set something up right now. Wait for Halloween. We're okay. Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. Be at all. This way. That's a code. Are you fucking stupid? Oh my god. Oh, shit. No. Are you Get fucking the fuck stupid? Out of here. Like? Kate! <laughs> wow. Kate! What? What is this? I don't. Get me out of here! Hurry up! It's another trap! I'd rather choose the one on the, on the left to save. <laughs> Kill the one on the right, on the right, and the one on the left to save. <clears throat> <You're both laughs> locked. Shit! What was that? are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give the man? No. Not both of them. It's sucking out all the air. Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? 
choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. Uh, 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 I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Shoot. Now! Kill Iran and save Kate. I'm so sorry. My option, I wanted to know what you just did. So, wait. 